Where shall we go today? Where shall we go? Where do you want to go today? Let's visit. Uh, yeah, you won't believe this. Lubenham. <laughs> Lubenham, named after two of my favourite things, is also the home of the Coach and Horses. It's a pub where they don't sell lube or ham. Lubenham is full of cottages like this one, which is thatched. Thatching is what they used to do before they invented slate from Welsh's. Thatch is the big story of lube and ham. But with this one here, although some of it is actually tiled, but again, thatched, waterproof, fire resistant, environmentally friendly. Why don't we just go back to thatching? Although Lubenham isn't very big, the houses are amazing, including this one. This is the house that Jack built. Yeah, here we are in Lubenham. Guess what? They also have snap-on as well. <laughs> Some of the buildings in Lubenham are actually quite impressive, including this one with the double towers on it. Well, triple if you count the square tower as well. And then all the little spikes behind. Here we are at Lubenham Church, which is doing a sturdy job on letting people like us, Techie TV News, pretend we're in London near Big Ben, the scaffolding around the tower. Inside the church, it is absolutely beautiful. Lubenham Church and the big gate which hopefully will shut excellent certainly would appear the death rate in Lubenham is actually quite high maybe because all the heat is am Lubenham is set in a very lovely place right in the middle of the countryside but I imagine when it's winter time, the roads get very slippy around here. Behind me are the old stables. They've been converted into houses. And instead of housing horses, which only have one horsepower, they now also house cars, which have thousands of horsepower. So in a way, it's kind of an upgrade. Unlike Lazenby, Lubenham does not have a railway station, nor does it have a bus station, but it does have two bus shelters. This one here and one over there in the distance. So it is connected. Here we have a map of the area. Lubenham and all its areas. You've got the uh, church that we've been to, the tower house that we've seen as well, but there's loads of other um, iconic places to visit. There's also a bit of history as well about the old town, including a lovely picture there of the old post office on Main Street in 1926. And remember, we're in Lubenham. Uh, you've also got Mrs. Swingler. Mrs. Swingler uh, in 1895. What a name. And I can see why it's called Lubenham. So if you want to live somewhere with a comic name, unless of course you live here, it hasn't got a comic name at all, you could do a lot worse than Lube and Ham. Then again, you could probably, no, you probably couldn't do a lot better actually. Lube and Ham. See you next time. Until next time. Bye bye. Where shall we go today? Where shall we go? Where do you want to go today? Let's visit.